I'm going to open a new Archicad file here so we can take a look on the curtain wall. So let's go to the curtain wall tool here on the toolbar. We have some different methods for adding a curtain wall. So if I click and hold here, I can change to a polyline curtain wall method. And then we can go and add the polyline that will represent our curtain wall. So we can also make it a curved curtain wall. And then if I click two times on the last point, Archicad will finish. And now it is asking me where is the inside and where is the outside of the curtain wall. So I'm going to click here below the line, which means this is the outside. We can also choose the height of this curtain wall. I'm going to keep it 3100 for now and then press place. So here we have our curtain wall in plan. If I press F3, we also have it in 3D. So let's take a look on the settings for this curtain wall. So on the left, we have elements of this curtain wall. On the right, we have the settings for it. So if you go here to scheme, here we have the primary grid lines where we can choose those columns. So right now we have one column of 900, another of 300. So for example, if I change these to 900 as well, we're going to have two identical with columns. You can also add new columns or remove them as you want. So I'm going to keep it only one for now. On the secondary grid line, the same logic applies, but you're changing the height of those panels. One important thing here is if you click on the panel, it will become gray. If you click it again, you become white. And that means this panel is main or a distinct panel. So we can add different settings for them. So if I click here on the main, you'll notice that this is a generic panel made of glass on distinct this is a generic panel made of metal aluminum. And then you can also choose to a different kind of panel. You can make it a custom panel or door window panel if you want to. I'm going to keep it generic for now. We're going to change this in a little bit. And then finally, we can choose the frames as well, where you can choose how the boundary of the curtain wall looks, how the vertical mullions or the horizontal transoms look like. So right now the transoms are butt glazed, which means we don't see the frame outside. And on the mullion, we have a generic here. Let's change it to butt glazed as well. And similar settings to the transom ones. So going back to the scheme, I want to have the first and the second frames as a main. And the third one, let's say we have a fritted glass. So I'm going to keep it solid. Let's go ahead and press OK. And you'll see that the curtain wall is now adjust to the new settings. But for me, the magic of curtain wall happens here on the 3D. If we select this curtain wall and then press this button, edit, Archicad is going to enter into a edit mode for curtain wall, where all the other tools disappear. And we have only tools for curtain walls. We also have here some options for this curtain wall where we can hide some elements. For example, if I hide here all the panels and all the frames, the curtain wall disappears. And if we turn on the scheme, we can actually see the surface that guides the curtain wall. So let's click on this surface and start changing some stuff. So if I click here on this blue line and then click on the edge of it, we can change the surface as if it was a polyline. Like I can stretch it up for a certain measure if you want to. I'm going to do the same with the second curtain wall here, stretch the same, and then the same with the third one. You can also add new nodes for this frame. So let's stretch the same height as the other. And let's add a new node here. You can offset this node and you can also move some points. So let's move a point here for the curved side. Now, if we switch off scheme and switch frames back and the panels, you see that the curtain wall is following our surface that we just edited. You can also not add new elements. Like if I go here and click on the wall frame tool, we can add a new frame. So I'm going to click somewhere in here and we add a new frame. I can select this frame and change it instead of a custom frame to be a transom. So it follows the other transoms. You can also delete some frames. So if I click here, I can press delete and this becomes one big panel. So this panel, we can change it from generic to a door panel, for example. And if we go to the settings, we could change the way that this door looks. We can change the frame. We can change the handle. I'm going to keep it as it is. And the same logic applies when you want to add windows to this curtain wall. So I'm going to click here 
change the member type to window 20 and I want to change this window from side hung to a top hung type. Let's press OK and then we have our top hung window. Finally, you can also add some accessories. So if I click here on the kernel wall accessory tool, we can add a sunshade. So let's click in one and then another point of the sunshade. Now our cat is asking what side is the sunshade. I'm going to click on this side and we have this sunshade that we can start editing and changing it. So that's a quick view on the kernel wall tool. Have fun with it.